Hello and welcome to this introductory course on churn modeling in Python. I am Mark Peterson, Senior Data Scientist, creator and maintainer of this course. I have worked closely in churn analytics across a variety of industries and countries, ranging from credit card churn modeling in Latin America, to cable TV cancellations in the US, and SaaS cancellations in my current role. What exactly is customer churn? It is when an existing customer, user, player, subscriber, or any kind of return client stops doing business or ends the relationship with a company. It can be defined in a variety of ways. Contractual churn, or when a customer is under contract for a service and decides to cancel their service. This can be found in cable TV and SaaS products. Voluntary churn is when a user voluntarily cancels a service and includes prepaid cell phones and streaming subscriptions. Non-contractual, or when a customer is not under contract for a service, is the next example of churn and includes consumer loyalty at a retail location or online browsing. Finally, involuntary churn, or when a churn occurs not at the request of the customer and includes credit card expiration or utilities being shut off by the provider. Most likely, you as a customer have canceled a service for a variety of reasons, including lack of usage, poor service, or better price. Being able to leverage this experience, as well as your domain knowledge, will help guide you in your churn modeling journey. In this course, you'll learn how to build a churn model from beginning to end. The data you will be using comes from a cellular usage data set that consists of records of actual cell phone customers and features that include specific features to a customer cell service, like voicemail and international calling, cost for the service, a customer's usage, and a feature of whether the customer canceled their service or not. Here, churn is defined by the customer canceling their cellular plan at a given point in time and is encoded in the data set as no and yes. In the following interactive exercises, you will begin to interact with the data to gain a basic understanding of its features and data types. You'll also compute summary statistics to get a sense for how the data is distributed. To do this, you will use pandas methods you may already be familiar with from other DataCamp courses, such as head, describe, and mean. This exploratory analysis will allow you to make sure the data looks clean and give you a good understanding of how churners defer from non-churners, which will prove valuable once you start building your churn model. Enjoy exploring the data and the exercise.